Question 12, um, you have uh, two vessels right, on an inclined slope attached to each other by a rod. Okay, So what would be the tension inside the rod? Uh, take note here, the slope is smooth. Okay, uh, Slope is being smooth right, is to help the whole situation right, be easier. Okay, If the slope is not smooth and the amount of friction right, acting on each object right, don't have a same coefficient, right? Then it will be very complicated. Okay, so yeah, back to the question. So let's consider, right? What is the general case? Um, the general case, right, of a body on a incline, right, with no friction, is that it will experience a net force of mg sine theta. Okay, that's the unbalanced part of the mg, and the uh, a is equals to g sine theta. So this in general, okay. So let's consider, so that, uh, in other words, right, for this case, this will also mean, right, that uh, the combined object will have a acceleration of g sine theta, and both of them will have the same acceleration as well. Okay, thus, right, let's ask ourselves this question. What if we have a non-zero tension? What will happen? Um, clearly, right, if there's a non-zero uh, tension here, Let's consider the mass one. So you will have right uh, m one g minus t equals to m one a. So that will mean right that the a will be lesser than g sine theta. Oh, so sorry, I forgot the sine theta here. Okay. Then in the second case, right, you will be a m two g sine theta plus t equals to m two a. And that will mean right the a will be greater than uh, g sine theta. So that will contradict the uh, overall situation because right we expect both of them to have the same acceleration. Or they are not supposed to be different. Thus, right, tension shouldn't exist. So we are trying to show right through a, a contradiction method here.